Welcome to Mr. Mitsubishi YouTube channel, covers a lot of Mitsubishi, a lot of all new Outlander stuff. Uh, in this video, today we'll have a look at this. So the all new Outlander has this uh, really nice feature. It's uh, the terrain selector. So it's that shifter knob that you can turn around and you have six different uh, driving modes that you can choose from. Not a lot of people know kind of how to use them on a daily basis. And by talking to the clients, uh, on a daily basis here basically you know there's a little bit of confusion around it and not everybody knows like what's what so there are three of them three driving select uh, driver selectable modes that would be used uh, majority of times on your day-to-day -day driving situation so we're gonna have a look at those driving modes in this video we're gonna test drive the car so we're gonna see how they work in a real life so we're in this uh, brand new 2022 Outlander GT. This feature, by the way, um, Outlander has it on all trim levels. Even the base model has this. So essentially every time when you start the car, even though if you had possibly switched it over to a different selection, uh, it will automatically default to normal. So that's just the way it goes. And it's not exclusive to Outlander. All the manufacturers will basically, even if you put in sport mode, will default to normal. And the normal basically offers you well-balanced four-wheel drive and, um, you know, uh, resulting in a good fuel economy traction and, you know, high speed stability and everything else. Right. And then we have two more that are, would be the most popular to use on a daily basis. So number one would be the Echo. And as we switch to the Echo, the light goes here. And then we also have the screen change right here. Beautiful graphics on the Echo. I like it a lot. It, like Outlander looks sharp. It's nice and green. And then Echo mode supports, uh, you know, economical driving by optimizing the powertrain characteristics. So engine and transmission, right? And then basically it automatically transfers the torque to the rear wheels when loss of traction is detected uh, to enhance the stability beyond your typical two wheel drive um, you know fuel efficient mode so basically you know it's mainly a front wheel drive otherwise uh, unless it needs to uh, go as an all-wheel drive that it happens automatically and this also has this uh, you know um, the echo pedal feature that teaches you you know with the help of pedal guide display how to do drive more fuel efficient so and we'll check that uh, as well um, in a bit so then the next one the third one that would um, you know commonly used would be the tarmac Right, we can see this one looks like a paved road right here when we switch it over and you have the display changing uh, to tarmac as well right so we can see this is kind of like you know a desert highway looks right and then the tarmac provides enhanced agility and uh, performance uh, such as like you know rapid acceleration response and you know uh, high cornering performance when traveling on basically dry paved roads so in a way this is more like a sport mode kind of thing where you can car becomes a little bit more responsive and whatnot right so right now we're going to go out for a test drive we'll test all three of them how they drive how they feel and then you can kind of you know play around with uh, your own outlander as well or if you go for a test drive you can try this out like i mentioned before there's a little bit of confusion on what these you know selections are like you know 99.9 .9 percent people probably just leave it on normal the entire time and that's how they drive it's fine right like i said it always defaults back to normal you switch it to something else you'll have that for the time being if you turn off the vehicle start again it always defaults to the normal so right now let's go for the drive so we are in a normal right now and it just feels like a, a normal typical drive basically right so we you know, the, if I press the brake pedal, it's fairly responsive. Nothing too crazy, just based on how it feels. Like it does feel like a a normal drive, right? So, and this is gonna default always to normal. And uh, the most interesting part is gonna be now to switch from normal to eco, and then we're gonna try from normal to tarmac. So right now, let's check out a normal to eco. So now we're in normal, let's shift it to echo. And then once you're in echo, so basically this uh, display is gonna show you that you're in echo mode. And then if you want to find your e-pedal, right? So basically it'll show you right here, eco drive assist, and it'll show you when are you in eco range, right? So obviously the green is good, right? So right now I let go of the gas and it automatically goes to green. I press the gas pedal all the way down. 
it goes great and like you know if we drive normal like you know 60 70 kilometers an hour um, this kind of like you know we can achieve that so the way how the car feels when we drive it's a little bit different on that eco mode compared to the normal so it drives a little bit slower it's less responsive right because it's changing the way how transmission is interacting with engine and you know your gas pedal right so the vehicle it just feels slower and uh, you know slower to respond so just keep that in mind that if you have this in this echo mode it's not going to be as fast it's not going to be as responsive right and it's all geared towards your fuel economy right so you know, there's a lot of people who try to achieve best possible fuel economy on your outlander the echo mode is the way to go then now let's uh, check how the tarmac is going to behave compared to the normal so we're driving in uh, normal right now and uh, check the tarmac and the most interesting thing to watch here for so i'll switch it to tarmac and now let's check out what happens to rpms so let's check the rpms so we're driving constant speed we click to tarmac and right away the rpms got up right and now the car is way more responsive right so it feels like you just tap a little bit on the uh, uh, gas pedal and it's like right there you can you know go higher go slower right so it does feel way more responsive obviously it has still the same amount of horsepower that it had before but it's just the way how your gas pedal is interacting with transmission and engine so this tarmac mode it's a very good by the way if you have um, you know multiple passengers in your car right so like five six seven people maybe then you probably want to go to this tarmac uh, selection because that way you can shift faster and then you can you, the car is going to be just uh, that more responsive right because when you drive it it doesn't even like you know allow the rpms to drop so like right now i'm driving i'm taking my foot off of the gas pedal and look how slowly it's dropping the rpms and they don't even drop under two the second i click back to normal look what happens the rpms drop below two right and now if i want to start and go it'll just take longer time because the car has to go you know get the rpms up right so um interesting part like that so there we go we just uh, tested out uh, three different selectors uh, it always defaults to normal you can shift it to echo the echo mode then will basically slow the vehicle down it'll slow the reaction down like you're just going to be slower but you're going to have better fuel economy if you click on tarmac then basically the rpms are higher the vehicle is more responsive obviously the fuel economy is not going to be that great right uh, it's going to be still good but it all affects fuel economy right so there's some people who say that the engine is a little bit underpowered i do recommend trying to drive a little bit more on the tarmac see if you still think it's underpowered because i think this is going to give you exactly what you're looking for because like i mentioned at the beginning of the video there's a lot of people who even don't know how to use this properly a lot of confusion around it and there's a fair amount of salespeople who don't go through this kind of stuff when you take a delivery of your vehicle so there we go i hope you like this video i hope it was for, uh, informative for you uh, thank you so much for watching it and i'll uh, see you in next videos